Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Cincinnati Bearcats taking on the winners of three straight, the Colorado Buffaloes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Here comes the offense on first down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this boot game if I were allowed to have push passes when I was playing for I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a difficult one to attack. They're really good. One of the best in the country. They come at you from all angles. So I, I'm interested to watch. How do you mix up the play calling? How do you keep the defense off balance? Because they are a good one. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. And the Bearcats are rolling down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. With the catch, it's Turner. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. The Bearcats getting set on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Buying some time. Broken up, incomplete, and nearly intercepted in the end zone. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll give it to the back. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking downfield, it's McDonald. Fires into the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Quarterback checking off. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. They'll run play action. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw, incomplete. Well, no surprise there on defense, right? You know the QB is going to be trying to target this guy. Nice job in coverage, forcing that incompletion. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Blasted as he lets it go. Complete to the left. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Now, if I'm a defense, I've got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I've got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. 
And that's the problem with blitzing on defense. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. Defense dialed up the pressure, but the offense had a better play call. They ran it away from the blitz, and that's why they were able to be successful. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bearcats. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate the... Here comes the Cincinnati offense back on the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. That's the end of the quarter, and Cincinnati is on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Turner. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. On the ground, it's Kiner. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Give to the running back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Give to the running back. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Now they're going to throw it. He's got it and still on his feet. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. The Bearcats trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Back to pass, it's McDonald. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Cincinnati! Touchdown. They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. Football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out. Everybody right now on the same page. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. Use the play fake now to throw. Fires downfield. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Look, a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They keep attacking through the air. Finds his man. It's Johnson. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. A first down run on the doorstep. 
He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now it's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Dropping back, it's McDonald. Touchdown, Bearcats! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Number zero. Cincinnati offense back on the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. He's going to run it. After the pickup of nine, it's... Things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You could tell it drops back. Nothing open. It's okay. I'm just going to take off and get what I can get. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Quarterback will audible. They'll throw it on first down. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Got it! He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. Try to barge their way in. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. in the books time now to join kevin connors in our halftime update thanks guys a first half that saw a little bit of everything there in boulder and we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver this is clearly a young man who once he's finished playing on saturdays he's going to be playing on sundays the kid has different gears he has a knack for finding gaps in the defense and I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. To work. The option look. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. To the air, it's McDonald. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't not free for a fumble. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Now the play fake. The throw. The short hands, it's Johnson. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. And the Bearcats will line it up on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Bearcats! And the punishment has been extended. 
yards oh after catch. That's what this guy gives you. That was a simple slant pass. He caught it, made guys miss, showed you the speed. Drive an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. On second down, they'll take to the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Looking to throw, it's McDonald. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield. It's Pryor. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Bearcats are on the move. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Pryor. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Here on third down for this offense. To the ground to try to move the chains. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. Offense about to reel off its seventh play of the drive. He'll come out throwing on first down. That's reeled in. It's Johnson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Clock winds inside a minute to play here in the third. The back goes in motion. On second down, he'll let it fly. Caught in the backfield. It's Kiner. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. And still a little ground cover to pick up the first. The Bearcats are in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. They bring him down, but not before he gets just enough to move the chains. Now down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. They'll try the run. Pick up of one, it's down at the 11. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Back to throw, it's McDonald. Spits it out to the back. Touchdown, Cincinnati! And the stomping has commenced. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. The rankings, the odds makers, everything indicated that these guys had a big hill to climb. But they climbed it, they got to the top, and they get a landmark win. And we know coaching staffs always do a great job trying to motivate their own guys and get them ready to play a ranked opponent. But David, to me, it looked like this team just wanted it more. They came out, they were the more physical team, and they did what they had to do at the end of the day to get this one. Yeah, and how do you gain respect? You want respect, you talk about our team's a really good team, you want to build on that? You beat good teams, that's what you do. You beat ranked teams that people think a lot of. This team pulls off the rank upset, and guess what? Now what happens? You start to maybe find your team in the rank spot. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis.